Hello there. I'm Marty Clayton Banfield and I have a really short testimony for all of you today about something that happened to me concerning an onion ring and uh, uh, an order of uh, onion rings that I happened to get at Hardee's uh, yesterday which was April the 6th 2009. Um, now this is a testimony uh, for me of how the Lord can speak to you through anything he wants in his creation. I've had this happen to me all the time. <laughs> Just these type of things and I think I'll start posting them you know, for everyone <laughs> to hear and see as a testimony of the Lord's goodness. Anyway this one is concerning uh, something that our Hebrew teacher Keith Murray uh, who's been teaching me and James a lot about the Hebrew and our Hebrew roots. Uh, the other night, James uh, and I were talking with Brother Keith, and we had a very interesting conversation about pie. Uh, now, I've been out of high school quite a while, so let me see if I can get this right. Pi is the uh, mathematical number 3.141526 and so on. Um, now, Brother Keith was explaining to James and I the other night that if you draw a circle with a line down the middle, I'll show it to you now. I've, I've drawn it. Let's hope we can see it. Okay, there it is. So I can get it straight for the camera. That was what he was showing us, that you do this, draw the circle, and there's a diameter. And that pi, he was explaining pi is the relationship between the circumference of the circle to the diameter. So that was what he showed me, uh, and I drew it. Okay, now, um, so I kind of had that little picture of the circle with the line down the middle in my mind for a few days since we had talked with Brother Keith. Well, yesterday, my husband James and I uh, happened to go to Hardy's uh, on the way to see my son and my grandbaby. And I usually don't order onion rings, but yesterday I ordered a mushroom burger and I said, I think I want to order of onion rings, James. So he ordered them. Now, I have been ordering <laughs> from Hardee's all my life, just about. Not something I really like to do, but <laughs> here in Bamberg, there's, n there's not a McDonald's or anything. So we have to order from Hardee's. <laughs> well, inside my order of onion rings, I found something very remarkable very interesting and I knew that this is a sign from the Lord God Almighty confirming brother Keith Murray's word the other night on pie and um, and this is the week right before Passover so we're re really looking for the Lord to reveal a lot of different things to us you know during this festival this feast and festival and because um, we're just learning about our Hebrew roots anyway um, here's what I found in my onion rings. This is an actual onion ring and I'm telling you, you just saw the picture of the circle with the line. Look what was in my order of onion rings. I have never in all my life seen an onion ring <laughs> like this. I'm going to show it a little closer. <laughs> this is an onion ring. I'm telling you, it's what Brother Keith told me to draw the other night for pie. Can <laughs> you I cannot believe that. Let me show it real close. There it is. It's an onion ring. It's, it's not exactly in the middle, but I'm telling you, have you ever seen anything like this? What are the odds and chances that right after Brother Keith was, we were, it was talking with us and about pie and the relation to the Hebrew with pie, what are the odds that two days later, right here before the Passover, this is what I get in my onion rings. And you know what? After this, I will never forget pie again. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am educated on pie now. <laughs> this is the pie onion ring. I'm going to show it real close. Now let me turn it over. See, that is, you can see the little ridges where it's been fried now. I know I'm It's going. I'm going to have to do something with it. So, because, <laughs> you know, I can't keep it forever. So I'm going to take a picture of it and I have it on video now. I am telling you, that is something else, isn't it? <laughs> that's my pie onion ring this is my sign for this week from the Lord but I'm hoping to get some more signs also <laughs> anyway I'm going to keep you updated on a lot of these signs the Lord uses with me uh, so check back here on you know and, and see what the Lord's doing <laughs> 
Now let me explain just a little more while I have the time. Um, in case a lot of you don't know it uh, about pie, pie is in the Bible. Okay, where is it? So you can go read. Uh, it's in 1 Kings uh, chapter 7, verse 23. And I'll just read that real quick, and then you can go investigate your own self. Uh, when uh, Solomon uh, was instructed by the Lord to make the molten sea, uh, here's what the quote is, 1 Kings 7, 23. And he made a molten sea, ten cubits, from one brim to the other. It was round all about. And his height was five cubits, and a line of thirty cubits did compass it. So you didn't know pi was in the Bible, did you? It's in there a good bit, and we're investigating that right now with Brother Keith. Um, now also, uh, Brother Keith explained to us, now this is an amazing thing, when pi is all broken down into a fraction, here's what the fraction is. Let me show this again. 22 over 7. That's what it comes down to. Isn't that amazing? Now, there are several things that pi has to do with it I thought I would mention here that uh, you might not know about. I've written these down. The DNA double helix, pi is in that, and a rainbow. And ripples, like when you drip a uh, drop of water, rain water. And it's in a lot of geometry problems, as we well know. Pi is an amazing number from the Lord. So, um, I just thought I would do this little informative thing for all of you about my <laughs> pie onion ring and kind of educate some of you a little bit who did not know this these Bible facts about pie. We are learning this because we are delving into our Hebrew roots and Brother Keith has studied a lot over the past 12 years and he is uh, sent to us by the Lord to help enlighten us also to some of these Hebrew facts that we are learning. I will keep everybody posted on some of the things that we learn and uh, I'm going to say goodbye now <laughs> and God bless you all and uh, Come back again. We have more to come. I'm sure the Lord isn't through with just an onion ring. <laughs> God bless you all. We will be observing the Passover again this year for the second time. And we are going to try to get some of the video footage of our Passover on here. So check back. Bye-bye. God bless you all today. We love you.